This is Bangkok. A city built on the banks of the Chao Phraya River. Its streets teeming with a people graced with soulful beauty. This is the Wat Aran Temple. These are the rickety putt-putt taxis. This is the temple of Wat Phra Kyo. This is Dennis Hopper. Dennis is about to embark on the journey of a lifetime. Many have come, few are chosen. Fishing with John Fishing with John Fishing with John I made a mistake. John is still alive. John and Dennis are united. John has not seen Dennis since he was a little boy. <laughs> so we, we were 28 hours traveling. 28 hours, man, and it was, uh, it was really tiring. How do you figure 28 hours? Well, it was it's, it's okay. 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right. 20, 21, 22, You're 23, right, 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 24, okay. 25 to 6, 7. By the time we got from the airport to the thing, we'd been, by the time I got the hotel in Bangkok, it was 28 hours yeah. later. And that was exhausting. On today's episode, John Lurie and Dennis Hopper are in search of the elusive giant squid. Sightings have recently been reported in the deepest regions of Thailand. John and Dennis hope to be the first fishermen to actually catch one. Wow, man, look at that. That's, that's dramatic, man. Look at that. But this, like, this couldn't be anywhere but in Asia, you know what I mean? Or wherever we are, right? I mean, that just looks like what it is. It looks like what it is. It's just very weird. You know what? I, I, would, I would like to stop for one. Can we stop for one second? Oh, we can play easy rider music here. All you need is two other guys and a long shot on the highway. Wait, who gets who gets killed first? You, right? Huh? You get killed first. Peter Fonda gets I killed first? I don't die. Yes, you both die. What are you talking no, about? No, I didn't die. Yes. How the fuck do you think I died? You never saw me die. You yeah. saw Fonda die. Fonda die, and then... I said, you... I'm going to get those. And you go back, and they shoot you with a shotgun. They huh? shoot me. No, yeah. he goes back. He goes back. They shoot me off the bike and he comes to me and I'm like, and he gets on his bike and he goes on back. 
after them it's and they blow of... him away. You never see me die. I could do a sequel all alone. <laughs> wow. Now, come on. Boy, there must be fish here. Look at that. said I was treating her like a doormat. <laughs> I never could understand that. Teresa, Teresa. I don't know Teresa. Huh? I don't know Teresa. No, it wasn't Teresa. Until recently, I didn't understand what she meant by <laughs> I treated her like a doormat. Not Teresa. <laughs> After their arrival, they stay comfortably here, in this traditional stilted hut. They buy supplies here in this canteen, which is three miles down the road. You want anything else? No. So all you have in this sugar, man, you're just going crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have a hypoglycemic attack. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a hypoglycemic attack. Who? You. So you're gonna drink this whole thing? I'll pour some of it out the window. <laughs> As always, night turns into day. Fishermen wake up early on the Kromnip River. This is John's friend, Lon. Lon will take them on the first leg of their journey. John and Dennis have several days' journey before they reach the area where the giant squid has recently been spotted. Out of politeness and for old times' sake, John and Dennis pretend to hear one another, but the roar of the engine makes communication all but impossible. They stop here to catch fish for food. You got squid there? No, I put, you want a piece of squid? Yeah. Hey, Lon, do you have ch -ch -ch -ch. some squid? Yeah. He's gonna... The Andaman Sea, the Andaman Sea. I'd like to be on the Andaman Sea. Got something there. <laughs> You're just trying to scare no, look me. At, look at it, look at it. You got a fish? No, I got, well, something's going on down there. Huh. 
How's the Dramamine feel? Oh yeah, it's great. It's a lot better than the Snicker bars. It made you behave though, totally different. Oh, yeah. How are you like? <laughs> you got a fish? Maybe so. I may have a fish. I do have a fish. Huh? What do you suppose that is, man? One small fish cannot feed three hungry men. Lon knows of a place where he can inquire where the fishing might be better. One to nothing. One to nothing. This is their last stop in civilization. They have lunch here. John and Dennis try to relax with a game of ping pong while Lon checks out the local fishing reports. Six five. I was paralyzed. Six all. Six all. Nine. Wait, wait, is that right? 16-9, you're... 16 wait, 10. huh? 16 is, wait, 10. was that right, though, to switch, then? Yeah, 15 and 9. Okay, but that, that last one doesn't count, because I was thinking. Absolutely count. 16-10. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. 18-10, Johnny. All right. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Twenty, ten. Twenty, ten, and serving for game. Twenty, ten. The winner. And still world champion, the old codger. The old codger. Yeah, maybe I'll take you fishing there, Johnny. Fishing up the pier at 42nd Street. Why do you call me Johnny? I don't think it shows the proper respect to a man <laughs> in my position. <laughs> has anybody ever called you Johnny, ever? No one besides you has ever dared. John and Dennis have gone out fishing alone. Lon, the fisherman, runs the camera from the shore. Where is he? Uh huh? Huh? Uh huh? He's still on? I don't know. Is that with me? Yeah. Is that what's happening? I don't know. Let's take it in by hand then. Well, how we? Well, let's just take it. How are you going to do that, man? I don't know. You Juice can't do it. You can't do it because he's too big. Is it coming in? I don't know. Yeah, it is. There's, there's no huh? slack. Yes, it is coming in. Oh, you mean it was in? too much? Uh, too much. Well, where am I at, though? Oh. Is he still there? There's something there. Huh? There's something there. Well, I got a hit by a fish. I mean, it, it, my pole been over in half. Probably <laughs> right now. Wait. Hmm? What we got on there the now, I don't know. There was something on there. Is there still something on there? Man. Look at that. You see what I'm saying? Is that thing coming in now? Uh, you try reeling? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. <clears throat> oh, man. <sighs> it is coming in, right? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at You see what I'm saying? Uh, like, no, no, I don't see look, nothing. Look, 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 look. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. What is it? I don't know, but it sure is big. Oh, it looks like a, it looks like a. What on earth is that? <sighs> Oh my God! What is it? Oh, it's, it's a stingray. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Wait, it's gonna break the line. Don't, don't, don't wait, 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 wait. Just slide it over by the boat. Don't lift it out of the water because it... <sighs> what are we gonna do with that? It's gonna sting us. What should I do? Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't take it out of the water. Wait, hey, I'll take it out of the water. Hang on slowly. What are you gonna do? 
Yeah, what, what should I do? You're gonna it? get stung. You are gonna get I'm stung. I'm not gonna get stung. It's too far away from me. Look, don't get him near me, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Drop him out. Well, just drop him down. Just drop him down. We'll take it off later. Drop him down. I'm trying to. I don't want to drop him there, though. Oh, okay. Wow, man. Wow. All right. Huh? Look at the mouth. That's so bizarre. He's got blue spots on him. Be careful. That stinger, man. He can flip that Where sucker. Is this? Oh, yeah, there it's it right is. Right at the tail. Shoot. Should we just cut What do off? we do? How do I get it off the hook? With Lon at the helm, they continue their journey. Deeper and deeper into Thailand. Or this is the one with, hey, this, psst, it's, dang, it's, it's dangerous, yeah? Huh? This what? is the one, if you catch one of these, you can't touch the back fin. Why? It's got some kind of poison on it. Well, what are you doing that for? Then? I'm just holding it like this. Every, every time, I think we, we, we cut this, and put some, some, you know, a new one, yeah? Lon has wooden legs, but real feet. Somewhere in this ocean, there are squid 59 feet long and weighing more than a ton. It is not likely that they inhabit these parts, but one never knows. Damn, I didn't even feel it. Can you yeah. throw me another little fish? You brought it, you, you got a fish or you had your bait stolen? I had my bait stolen. Well, I didn't even feel a peck. I was paying total attention. Yes, just throw it. Yes. Later, we're gonna have the fish catching contest. Were you there when those Germans were singing God Bless America last night? No, oh, come on. No, really, a table of like 20, maybe more, maybe 30 Germans, one with a guitar, <laughs> and they were singing really loud. And though as if to not be rude, then they sang God Bless America. Maybe they were singing God Save the King, which is what God Bless America's from. I was going to wake you up so you could come over and scare them into stopping. Do you think that might be what they were singing? <laughs> what, Dennis scares us? No, no, no. God save the king. No, they were singing God Bless America as like... Well, isn't God Bless America, God Save the King, though? Isn't it the national anthem of England? England? They were yes. German. Most well, I'm of the saying, things that, I'm, that's what I'm telling you, though. Most of the things they were singing were in German. And you could hear them saying God Bless America? Yeah. Land that we love. Stand beside her and guide her through the light. With the night the from light above. From above, what? Through the night with the light from above. Thank you. So that's, they were hoping to make it through the night, in other words. They were sort of saying, help me make it through the night. No. Which is English, isn't it? No, my brother. <laughs> it was. <laughs> ah. All right, Lonnie. Lonnie, me lad. They take turns sleeping on the boat. 
One drives while the other remains awake, on watch against attacks by pirates, or even conceivably, the giant squid. This is the last leg of Lan's journey. Because of local customs, he's not permitted to travel deeper into Thailand. John and Dennis hope to hop a local squid boat. Lan has warned them about the character of the unsavory crew. Along with the squid fishermen, it is believed by local authorities that pirates are also using these docks. Curious foreigners are not particularly welcome here. Though he is nervous, Lon manages to negotiate John and Dennis's passage onto the squid boat. The crew are not particularly friendly. Tension is in the air due to rumors of the giant squid, four local fishermen have disappeared within the last week. The giant squid is incredible. Since early times, tales of horror have been woven around these fantastic sea creatures. It is the largest, strongest, fastest, cruelest, most cunning, and ferocious of all animals. John Lurie and Dennis Hopper are here in Thailand and hope to be the first people to actually catch one. It is believed that the giant squid travels at speeds of over 75 miles an hour. It has the most highly developed brain of any invertebrate. With eyes the size of a volleyball, it is believed that the giant squid has the power to hypnotize most mammals. Well, Porter kicked me out of his house once. He said I was a caveman. Because I told me he had a lot of yes men around him, and like, you know, it's ridiculous. A guy as important as he was should sit around with all these yes, Mr. Porter, no, Mr. Porter. He asked me to leave. He wrote me a very beautiful letter, though. He said that he'd only met a few people who drank as much as I did and were animals. You know? One was Larry Hart, and the other was John Barrymore. Neither one of them he wanted back in his house, and that included me. That's a nice letter. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Well, not bad company, you know what I'm saying? No, I, well, I stayed it for years, and somebody, some girlfriend ripped it up, or wife or something. Sort of fit of like female passion for hating me, knowing that letter meant something to me. Destroy whatever he likes. Yeah. Few humans have ever seen this horrific beast, which lurks in the far depths of the ocean. 
In ancient times, countless ships were destroyed by what was then believed to be a sea monster. Attacks are less common today. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper into Thailand. Actually, John and Dennis aren't fishing. They use chunks of bait in hopes of attracting the giant squid out of its murky lair. These lines are almost a mile long. If they manage to lure the squid to the surface, the crew will be ready to harpoon it. If I was a white man and you were the same, I'd be Joe, oh, I, I lost no idea. Krabnar Sakbar. This is known in squid circles as the mile long tangle. Look, Dennis, I made a design. Excellent. in the daytime because I'm not so sure about this night fishing. I mean, I think visually it's sort of a gas, you know? No, the night fishing has been a... We saw, I saw this crate full of fish. What? I saw a crate full of fish. A crate full of fish? Crate full. Grateful fish. Great. What, a grateful fish just jumped out on your plate? You know what I'm saying. Why do you keep saying grateful? No, 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 I don't know. Crate full of fish. A crate full of fish. A great full... Great. Great. Is that like a great, great. Al alcoholic? Great. <laughs> I am a great full of fish. Yeah, well, you saw it where? Where did you see it? In the restaurant? Oh, I know where you saw it. You saw it where the boat came from. Uh, I can't hear you, Dennis. Go ahead. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. You saw a great full of fish. <laughs>
Come on, you guys. It's him, man. It's not me. I know. Man. I don't know how to tell him to stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got a fish on here. The big one. The big one in there. Yeah. La. On the radio, the captain has heard an hysterical SOS from a nearby vessel. He believes this can only mean one thing, the giant squid. John and Dennis awaken to find they have been abandoned by a terrified crew. However, they will continue their journey alone. In these caves, it is believed there are secrets as to the habits of the giant squid. John and Dennis stumble onto the sanctuary of an order of squid monks. These monks live in seclusion and study the ways of the giant squid. They invite John and Dennis for a cup of tea. John and Dennis try to coax them into divulging the secrets of the giant squid. But the squid monks only acquiesce to show them photographs of their families. He was flying. I could hear his wings, wings flapping. We're going to catch him, Johnny. This is the big one. John and Dennis have borrowed a boat from the squid monks, unfortunately, without asking their permission. Dennis has seen a map on the wall of the monks' monastery that leads him to believe that somewhere in this area is the lair of the giant squid. Do you think I should have like little sections of the bone in my leg removed so my legs aren't so long? Yeah. 
I know a girl who had was she was six foot four or something like that, and she had several inches of bone removed from her leg, but then her hands dragged along the ground when she walked. <laughs> she says that she's real attractive. I don't think I've ever known any girl. I've known a lot of women. I don't think I've ever known any that actually their hands drug on the ground because their legs were too short. Well, she, when, it, when, when they were at rest, she could pick them up so that they could, she, could be at her. You know, she could walk like that. Did she have hair on her back of her hands? Like, oh. I hate it when they have hair on their palms. It drives me crazy. Not a lot of stuff bothers me, but that's, that does. I don't like women who have those big gaping sores all over their faces. <laughs> <laughs> they never bothered me. <laughs> when, when I was a kid, I hitchhiked to Los Angeles, and I had no money and no place to stay, and I called some kind of number in the back of a hippie paper, so if you're stranded. And Jay North's manager, you know Jay North, Dennis the Menace, picked me up. Who's that? Dennis the Menace, you know Dennis the Menace. Well, the person, the act, the guy who played Dennis oh, the Menace, yeah. he was now Jay North's manager, and Jay North was about 25 and couldn't get work. And there was pictures of Jay, the young and old Jay North all around. So this what guy. was he looking for? He um. He asked if he could massage my neck. Oh, he was uh, into groupies. <laughs> into groupies, yeah. <laughs> and then um, he went out to get some food, and I left him a note saying, um, you're the nicest person I've ever met, and I left. <laughs> this is true. That was all because he massaged your neck? That you thought he was the nicest person you'd ever met? No, because he picked up stranded hippies and then massaged their necks and then went for he food also and me. they left huh <laughs> when he went for food they <laughs> left <laughs> i felt bad for him huh i felt bad for him oh yeah well it's a hell of a thing to have to carry around with you me <laughs> yeah i didn't realize it's the way you'd started in the business you have all my sympathies The giant squid is in the area. John and Dennis have been hypnotized. The effect is completely pleasurable. However, they won't remember any of this. John and Dennis have some euphoric inkling of what has just happened to them. They race madly through the ocean in search of they know not what.
Unfortunately, the squid monk's boat breaks down. The Andaman Sea, the Andaman Sea, Oogly Boogly, the Andaman Sea. We should be there in about a week. No, 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 not in a week. We're going backwards. I'm putting the anchor on. Okay. All right. Yeah, you think the rods are safe on the boat? What's that? You think the rods are safe on the boat? Yeah. Just check out where we are first, man. All right. Because I know that hut's around there somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. Because the last time you left me out here in the dark, if you remember. What's that? Wait, I'm going to put the other anchor in. OK. John, I found the path. OK, I'm coming. <laughs> Your kind of place, man. Let's eat. I'm starving. Let me get a diet coke. Please, please, Mr. Hopper, can we eat something somewhere? No, a diet coke. Mr. Hopper, please. Can we eat, Mr. Hopper, sir? Yeah. Let's go for it. You know where to go? Yeah, Johnny. There you go. Thank you very much. Mm. You lead the way, Mr. Hopper, sir. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Do you want to see these hippies? No, I hate hippies. Let's go eat. Come here. Jeez. I'm hungry. Where do you want to eat? How about here? You want to eat here? Yeah. Here? Ah, thank you. Thank you. Hang on. Don't you suppose? Didn't you, wait a second. Wait, 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 stop. Didn't you hear them crush the crushed ice thing going? Seriously, I bet there's ice. Excuse me? Is there, is there ice, ice in this? Ice in this? <laughs> ice? No, I can't have it. No. Can't have it. Uh, if I could just have a. It's possible to have a fruit shake, but no ice. No milk, no ice. Just fruit. See, I heard the ice in the blender, that's all. Is that what you did? Yeah. Mm. It's too late. You saved my life. I'll remember that. <laughs> I bet you will. I'll call that in. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of ice. It's good for you. Thank you. How is that? Warm. Why do you think that when people go on vacation, they wear the most ridiculous clothes? Things that they would never wear. Is it like, you know, well, I'm a bank clerk, so I'm going to go wild when I go on my vacation. Shock people with my colorful shorts. You think that that's what it is? Yeah. You're not interested in this conversation? Not really, but that is what it is. You figured it out, and I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this blue thing. Look at that blue thing. It's a muscle. Look at the blue thing. What's the blue thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. In actual fact, the giant squid might not even exist. 
But whether there is such a thing as a giant squid or not, life is still beautiful. Every breath, every day of our lives, ah, fishing. Fishing with John. Fishing with John. With John Out on the water Fishing With John